is 9MD, right here in Beverly Hills, Fusion of Science and Beauty. And as you know, it's my passion to bring anti-aging, functional, regenerative, and integrative medicine as evidence-based and show you that this is the wave of the future. This is the new age medicine. People are demanding it. I travel a lot and I see so much um, of, of people, clinics, there's medical clinics that are implementing all of these modalities. Uh, and, and I really want you guys to understand that there's so much of evidence based in this type of uh, medicine. So one of my guests today is going to be talking about, it's a very known as sort of a quack watch thing. It's known as live blood cell technology. And I want you guys to realize that there's a proper way of doing it and then there's an improper way of doing it. And anything taken out of context can be bad. So to shed the evidence based in live blood cell technology, I've got a guy who's been doing it for so many years. He's a health educator. He's a personal trainer. He's been, for 30 years, he's been coaching, um, uh, promoting um, you know, optimum health and got into live blood cell technology almost about 10 years ago. So I want to introduce Ty Cannon. He's fabulous. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, well thanks for having me. Yeah, and Ty, we really want to educate the audience because mm -hmm. I know when I started um, and when we first discussed about live blood cell technology, mm -hmm. I had so much reservations, mm -hmm. uh, so much doubt, uh, and I know that um, it can be done improperly and it can be used improperly mm -hmm. but when it's done in the proper fashion and when people are trained in the proper way mm -hmm. um, we're again we're not saying we're diagnosing diseases or anything of that sort but we are finding pieces of data to your health so mm -hmm. to speak and we're finding some clues to what may be going on metabolically mm -hmm. and I just want you to tell the audience what live blood cell technology is all about? Um, you know, it's it's a great tool for using with people. I mean, unfortunately, it has gotten a lot of bad. Um, and that's you know, precisely a lot of bad why press. I want the show. And and, 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 and uh, people have done a lot of things that are just not very credible with it. They use it to sell a lot of you know, uh, you know, quacks, supplements, uh, mislead people. I, I've had people sit down with me and tell me how they've had all these diseases and everything diagnosed with it and it's just not a, it's not designed to do that but what I like it so much is it's it is the most powerful educational tool I have ever seen and uh, you know if I can share it you know a quick story yes please um, do. when I, I first learned how to do this you know I, I never in a million years thought I'd be doing something like this it just yeah. you know wasn't my life path but I you know, I'd learned how to do it, and I had a friend of mine that I grew up with, known him since I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, I wanted to show him this new thing that I learned how to do. Now, he'd been with me. He'd seen me, you know, run all my health clubs. Uh, he, you know, and when I talked to him about health, diet, health, you know, he'd nod his head. He'd taken the information as though it's valuable. But, you know, like most people, there's that little program running in the back of their mind, that little voice, you know, and they're not going to do it. You know, they, they think it's a good idea, but they're just not going to change. Every doctor I've ever talked to, uh, every trainer, health coach, they all have the same problem. It's compliance. Yeah. Getting the people to go home and make use uh, of the information that you've shared with them. So anyways, I go through this process with, with my friend. And, you know, I go through and I show him, you know, the oxidative stress, and the result mm -hmm. of the free radical damage and all this cool stuff you can see. And... I wasn't trying to get him to change anything there. We've had those conversations. Yeah. I wasn't trying to get him to go get supplements or anything else. I just wanted to show my friend this really neat thing I learned how to do. And I saw for the first time something I've seen literally hundreds of times since. He got really quiet. He looked down for a moment and he said, what do I do? And he changed right there. We had another conversation. Uh, spent about an hour just laying down, you know, how we could make, uh, you know, things fit with his lifestyle. It was a little complicated because he translated. That's where your health coach So, yeah, so then goes. we showed yeah. him how to make, you know, build a program off of that, uh, what he had seen there. It, the, when you see this on the screen, it creates a very intimate connection with what's going on. And I have just, I have proven time and time again, when you properly educate people and they truly understand what's going on, they tend to start making better decisions. Yeah. Um, I think it's important for you to share your experience 
um, with um, a situation where you said uh, you were at this facility where it has used this and the and you've improved the outcomes by so so dramatically. Yeah, it was a, a pretty. Uh, I you know I've always been a huge believer in this. Uh, I really recently have learned how powerful it was. Yeah. Uh, this goes along with a lot of what I've I've studied um, in anti-aging. Uh, yeah. You know, which you know people. Uh, there's a lot of misconception about what that is, but it's really just about you know improving the quality of life you have and bringing your body to its optimal state of health. That's right. So I took this level of coaching uh, into a uh, alcohol and drug uh, recovery center, and you know I was really surprised what I found out about uh, this uh, um, this topic. It's a much worse problem than we ever imagined. The num it's becoming the number one problem. Uh, it's Some sort of over, addiction. Over 40 million people is estimated. Uh, that's one in seven. That's more than the number of people dealing with heart disease, mm -hmm. more than cancer, more than diabetes. I mean, it, it's a huge problem. It even surpassed the number of people dying from, over, uh, from drug overdose has passed the number of people dying from car accident. Wow. It's huge. But anyways, I went in there, uh, this uh, rehab facility, and was using this process with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and it really helped them to, to make the changes they needed to do. Now these are people that are you know, fresh out of detox. I mean, it's all they can do to literally to even sit up straight. Uh, went through this process, educated them the same way I do any, you know, anybody else, mm -hmm. uh, and they responded really well to it. And in fact, the, there was an increase in the number of people that graduated the program uh, by nearly 1,200 percent. It was the, the, Amazing. The, the success rate in this industry is so low. I was shocked at how low it is. It's, it's hard to get the actual numbers on it, but it's mm -hmm. floats somewhere between 2 and 10 percent. And even getting someone to complete a 90-day program is a huge task. And this tool proved to be incredibly effective. At, at helping people do that. So let's t let's tell the audience exactly what we need, what it is. I mean, when you start is basically taking a drop of your blood, mm -hmm. right, and looking it under high power microscope. We look at it under under a phase contrast microscope, and mm -hmm. it, it's really interesting because you can see the you know the size and shape of your red blood cells, and this is this can give us some indications. And again, you know, like you mentioned, this isn't about diagnosing disease. No, but it can it, it can point us in some but, directions. But, but let me tell you something: when you run a, like a normal CBC, uh -huh. which is a complete blood count through a machine, automated mm -hmm. machine, and we get uh, results. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you in medicine, okay, yeah. as a doctor, okay. Right. And um, and one of the things, let's say, if there's any abnormality that the machine picks up, mm -hmm. guess what the 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 lab director there will do? He'll take the 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 blood mm -hmm. and he'll look at it and try to look at it under mm -hmm. a microscope. Now, granted, there's different types of microscopes and so mm -hmm. forth, but the 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 idea of this is that you're looking for any indicators under mm -hmm. a microscope, and you're looking at blood, mm -hmm. and you're looking at blood cells. So this. Look, you know, looking at blood cell technology, mm -hmm. if you want to call it, it's been around for yeah. centuries. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not new. It's just looking at it in a little different perspective, right. correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so you know, you can see, you know, when you look at the cells. So you get a drop of. So basically, right. how long? So you get a drop of blood. Mm -hmm. you, you make two. You make two slides, right? There's it's a finger prick, right? It's nothing. No, it's no a pain. finger prick. You don't even feel it. Um, yeah. And we put it up there, and we we look at live blood and we look at dry blood. In the live blood, we can see, uh, like, when we look at the the red blood cells. Mm -hmm. You know, you when you look at the shape, if they're not, if they have, you know, uh, a lot that's of oval shapes, over, yeah, over, over ov shape. oleocytes. Um, you know things like that. Well, that's that's indicative of, of uh, you know being low in like your B complexes, iron, E, things you need mm -hmm. to form. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, good healthy blood cells. Uh, you'll see. Um, you can see uh, signs of um, uh, excess fat in the blood, which this is a really big one. When you see it and the, and the cells start clumping together, it makes a pattern called rouleau, mm -hmm. and that's really important because on so many different levels. You know, we know that that high-fat diet is bad for you know causing heart disease and things like that. But it's a lot more than that. That, that excess fat on there is blocking all the cell receptors. Mm -hmm. So it's not just blocking insulin; it's blocking you know all of these different things, uh, which you know can 
create so you can uh, see, and you can an see endless that, number of symptoms. I think it would people. be very visually, very, uh, very um, powerful when somebody visually could see that, mm -hmm. and then um, and then you could tie it into well, this is what it metabolically mm -hmm. could be doing. You know, again, it's, as an indicator, mm -hmm. uh, rather than simply having a number saying, look, your your triglycerides are mm -hmm. up, or your or you know uh, yeah. your cholesterol is up, but actually showing mm -hmm. what the fat you know, some of the fat circulating mm -hmm. could possibly be doing. And you know, it doesn't encompass everything, but you've done this for ages, you're seeing patterns emerge. And this mm -hmm. is the point I want to make to everyone is that live blood cell technology, when it's done in the proper context, mm -hmm. there's patterns that emerge that are indicative mm -hmm. of certain metabolic situations that mm -hmm. could be, you know, could that, that, that are happening. And, and things like, you know, and I, and I think that's where the, so to speak, the evidence base mm -hmm. comes in when you can reproduce. Mm -hmm. So again, if you could just share with your experience of this, have you been able to see some patterns that have been oh, uh, over the eight years, the same, some of the simil similar patterns emerging? In, in, in my training and learning how to do this, I yeah. have literally screened thousands of people. Yeah, I, I know mean, you it, have. That's why, that's why I, I wanted and, you on the um, show. And it, it's been an, it, it's been a really interesting process. I consider you one of the world's I consider one of the world's best people to look uh, at live blood cell technology uh, because th just the you. way you've done this. Yeah, it's when you when you're interviewing people, you know, and I'm t asking them, you know, what's your diet like? You know, are you exercising? You know, all, uh, you know, are, are do they know what their hormone levels are? Mm -hmm. Most people are clueless. This is huge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're talking to these people, you find a very consistent pattern of the people that are, you know, really living that that healthy mm -hmm. life with a sense of well-being. Um, they're doing the same things yeah. across the board. I hear all of these, you know, uh, debates about which diet's best and which one, and it just doesn't stack up. There's there is a very clear process that works for getting people to their optimal level of health and yeah. I see it time and time again. And have again. you, and then, and then the other, uh, you know, in, in, in summary, have you seen these indicators or these patterns and then when people have made changes and you repeat the mm -hmm. light blood cell technology, do you see differences? I see dramatic differences. See? That's I what, see, see dramatic that, that's differences. That's what I'm saying. And it's how, how can, <clears throat> how can, there's so much evidence based in this thing mm. because the, again the re-emergence of these mm. patterns and exactly the mm. kind of perhaps their um, the, the changes that they mm. make and then they redo this uh, it's like reproducible mm -hmm. right do you see that this pattern can be reproducible it's, it's totally reproducible and, and you not only see the results in, in in the screening but you see the results in how people feel yeah. they're telling you you know that you know I feel great I wake up in the morning you know I ask people you know how, do, how well do you sleep you know and most people don't sleep well. No, they don't. And I ask him, you know, most people don't, or this, this is a true story. I hear this <clears throat> maybe as much as once a month. I'll ask somebody, do you have any aches, pains, or fatigue issues? And then all seriousness, they look at me and they say, just the normal amount. There is no normal amount. Yeah. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you know, I ask people, when you wake up, do you need to hit the snooze alarm? You know, uh, do you, are you wide awake by the time you make it from the mm -hmm. bed to the bathroom? Do you need ca caffeine or other stimulants to get through the day? Are you excited about that's your right. day? Most people aren't. That's and right. that's what normal is. And that's something that's possible for everybody. So, so I mean, this is, this is huge, you guys. This is a huge lifestyle change. Listen, we're, um, we're going to be running into a break, but okay. um, we're going to be right back. Uh, this is Nina MD, Fusion of Science and Beauty, right here in Beverly Hills. Um, We'll be right back. Hello everyone, this is Nine MD, Beverly Hills Fusion of Science and Beauty. Welcome back to my show. I was talking to Ty Cannon. He's been a health educator, coach, personal trainer for so many years, over 30 years. Uh, he doesn't look it, by the way. He must have started when he was really young. And um, he, it's, it, we're really discussing live blood cell technology. Right, Ty? We are. And I'm just telling in the first half of the show that live blood cell technology has repeated patterns and indicators that keep emerging and that are actually reproducible. And both of us, you know, understand that it's not meant to diagnose something, but certainly it can give us pieces of data into our own metabolic health and help us optimize and move forward into a direction that we may need to take for a better lifestyle. 
So um, one of the things about life blood cell technology, again, I think just for the audience that may not have been tuned into the first half of the show, mm -hmm. it's basically a pinprick test, right? Right. Um, you, you get a drop of blood, you mm -hmm. make like two slides, mm -hmm. right? One is a, life, a dry slide and one is a wet slide, right? Correct. And, um, can, and, and then we look for things, which we're mm -hmm. going to get into more at the second half of the show. And those are the things that the indicators that we pretty much look for. Again, we're, this is done in the right context because mm -hmm. you've been doing it for so long. I mean, I consider mm -hmm. you as one of the world's best experts because you've done it for so long. Mm -hmm. And you are the first one to come out and say, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be... You understand that a lot of this live blood cell technology is not being done right. No. It's being done as sort of the quack, you know, supplement. Hey, mm -hmm. buy my supplements and, 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 and watch what happens. That's not at all what 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 I want to emphasize mm. what we want to emphasize is that this is serious mm. stuff that you can actually as, as indicators get to make a lifestyle mm. change it's all about lifestyle changes exactly right? yeah. and so what are some of the indicators like you we got touched a little bit about like you can see fat mm. for example fat mm. uh, right. circulating so and a lot of times mm. we'll you know you can have that machine too which tests your cholesterol mm. with the finger stick right mm -hmm. and sometimes right. that correlates because when you see a lot of the fat circulating and you do that, sometimes the triglycerides or the cholesterol is elevated. Oh well, yeah, invariably. It's, it's consistent. It's pretty, con it's very it is, consistent. It's consistent. I mean, I know that. And I've seen it. Um, and then what about some of the other, can we d discuss a little bit about oxidative stress? Yeah, that's when we're looking at... at because in anti-aging, this is so important, you know. Right. Uh, it, let, just explain to the audience about how free radicals create the oxidative stress. This is a, right. one of the theories, right? One of the most significant yeah. theories of aging as we age, so to speak. Yeah, free radical damage, it's, I mean, it's, it's a byproduct of, of just extracting energy from cells. I mean, just breathing creates free radical damage and you, uh, and, or ac oxidative stress. We hear mm -hmm. that phrase a lot. That's why they're always telling us in the supplement companies we need antioxidants. Yes. Um, and we'll see these patterns when you look at it, um, and maybe we can post some pictures for people to look at, but yes. you'll actually see these white pools. And these white pools, it looks like empty space, but it's not. It's polymerized protein as a result of free radical damage in the blood. And what we find that's interesting after, you know, these slides, I mean, this, this like you said, this goes back for a lot of years, you yeah. know. Uh, and it's, uh, we find that these patterns are in, uh, will give clues as to what's causing that damage. Now again, not diagnostic, but it does tell us things. There's a telltale pattern of, uh, that we'll see for adrenal stress. Yeah, and adrenal stress, again, for the audience, it's something that conventional medicine doesn't address because either, in conventional medicine, it's a black and white thing, right? Either you're under or over. So adrenal stress is usually adrenal insufficiency, which mm -hmm. they're going to measure doing a ACTA stimulation mm -hmm. test. You may test for Addison's disease, which means that you're not producing, mm -hmm. you know, enough cortisol, or you do a 24-hour urine for cortisol mm -hmm. and you find it low, um, or you may have Cushing's, mm -hmm. which is an overproduction mm -hmm. of cortisol. So, it, so it, it, it's it really, but it, in conventional medicine, mm -hmm. it's not take into account what dysfunctions mm -hmm. or metabolic imbalances, which functional medicine does, mm -hmm. anti-aging medicine does, integrative medicine does. Mm -hmm. So what we look at is saying, well, maybe we're not in either spectrum of, the, mm -hmm. of this adrenal you know, imbalance, but there's definitely adrenal stress going mm -hmm. on where the adrenals are just like, you're like, normally you have a circadian pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Circadian pattern of, uh, of cortisol production, but the adrenals yeah. are not being able to maintain that and you're utilizing either a stimulant like caffeine or mm -hmm. or or sugar or something that you're going to figure out the body figures out to say how do i adapt to quickly and giving He's myself to self -medicate. a boost you're basically starting to self medicate yeah. and and people don't understand that taking foods mm -hmm. uh, certain foods that may not be good for you is also a form of mm -hmm. self medication so yeah. having said that we're able to find these patterns right. of this adrenal stress is pretty yeah. reproducible, right? and, and the consistency across... It's so consistent. I, I, you know, I've actually developed the habit of when I, I see that adrenal stress pattern, I'll say, so you, you have midday fatigue, right? About mm -hmm. 2 o'clock mm -hmm. every day. They go, yeah. And I said, yeah. And you wake easy to light and sound. And they'll go, well, yeah. You know, and hard time going to sleep because your mind is racing. You just can't turn off the noise all symptoms of, you know, potentially symptoms of low cortisol. And what this is... Uh, good for is this, you know, and what I always teach all of my clients 
is this is going to help you to have a more intelligent conversation with your with your doctor, whoever you're yeah, working with. Yeah. So you take this information to them, and then they know. You know, we we should run a panel, include cortisol, and and whatever else they think is is you know yeah, yeah. called for. Yeah, I I think that's good, but sometimes the adrenal stress doesn't even show up there. We we actually in integrated medicine use the saliva test, which mm -hmm. conventional medicine doesn't sometimes look at. But mm -hmm. but the point being is. The, the, if the if again if the client can understand that maybe I'm having this, then I mm -hmm. can do a lifestyle change where I can start to go to bed a little earlier, mm -hmm. or um, maybe at that two o'clock I could take some protein mm -hmm. or take a little better diet mm -hmm. that might help naturally boost my cortisol mm -hmm. levels of reaching for a cup of coffee or sugar right. or a candy bar or something. So so there's things that you can do. The mm -hmm. other the other thing that we see very consistently too is sometimes um, on the live blood cells I, I often see is the um, uh, but the B12 deficiency mm -hmm. sometimes shows up, right? The larger mm -hmm. um, red blood cells. Yeah, you'll see, sometimes you'll see cells that are too large. Um, other times you'll see ones that are too small. Both of, both of those uh, will c create problems. Uh, really common when you see that people are dealing with a lot of just across the board fatigue issues, mm -hmm. brain fog, mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like that. What about, um, is there uh, a pattern for like for heavy metals? What about heavy metals? Sometimes can they be detected? You know, we can't detect specific heavy metals, no, not but, the, but what you an will indicator, see is again, interesting. An indicator of, like, it's a yeah, pattern, it, it, it's when, a pattern. When, when, we, when you prep a slide and as yeah. the blood's drying, you'll see these big Early on, black, yeah. I've seen those. Uh, dark rings. And a lot of times you'll see, uh, you'll see that. You especially see it in people that, you know, that uh, eat a lot of fish. We see it, uh, I notice people that are drinking a lot of tap water. You'll see yeah. a lot of it with... Um, you know, cheap cookware is a real big culprit too. Uh, so all of those what, things. What is, what, is, what is some of the cheap cookware you can? Well, just any of that aluminum yeah. cookware. I'm not a, big, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not a fan of Teflon either, but that's yeah. that's not really addressing the, the the metal part. But yeah, just the cheap you know metals yeah. that they use leach out a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of things. There's some nice ceramic cookwares and things that I like, and I like that a lot because it's easy to cook without oil. What about stainless steel? Um, stainless steel. Uh, the one, the ones that I, I haven't done a lot of research on the stainless steel, yeah, but, I, but I, but that's I, what bring the, this up the aluminum, I know is bad, and I know I like the ceramic, so I just, that's just kind of where I landed on that. Yeah. Okay. So okay. That's what all, the, all the health experts and everybody always, always directs me to. Is it ceramics? Also, yeah. Okay. Um, so we, but we do, we see that we can see that early on. Again, we can't tell you what, what, which, you know, heavy metals, but it just tells you they might have had an exposure, an indicator. Yeah. The other thing which I've also seen is the um, um, uh, sometimes a hormone imbalance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's just the way sometimes things are on a on a dry blood sometimes are yeah. There's, there's these these uh, these black lines that they yeah. create like this this yeah. giant net. Uh, it's called a fibrin mesh, and yeah. when you notice that that is is really washed out, you just don't see that that nice yeah. rich yeah, that pattern in there. Mm -hmm. That's an indication of, of hormone imbalance. Then people go, well, which hormone? They want to know right away. Yeah, so the first thing they always say is, well, you know, I can't tell you that, but it would be a good idea to talk to your doctor about getting a hormone panel ran. And I think, but you know what? I think everybody should just do that anyway. I think we everybody should, should the know their thing. hormones. I'm so big on it because that's the second, I mean, that's a huge theory of aging is hormonal decline. You know, one of the things I share about uh, hormones, this will be really quick, but I just, I did yeah, a talk to a bunch of business people really recently. And I asked, I walk up there and, and I said, how many people here are goal orientated? You know, and it's like, you know, you see a couple of people do this and I go, nobody raises their hands because it's a stupid question. Of course, you're goal orientated. You're here. Mm -hmm. So how many people here know what your hormone panels are? No hands go up. You know, and I say, okay, nobody's got their hand up now because you don't have them. And I say, no, you know why that's relevant? You know, and everybody's, you know, waiting for, you know, they don't yeah, know where yeah. I'm going with this. Right. And I tell them, I can take a, if you ran hormone panels on everybody in the room, yeah. I can go sit in the back and I can look at these panels and I can tell you who is either going to be the most successful people either are or are going to be by looking at that panel. Yeah. And yeah. This, is, this has been uh, published in, in tons of magazines. Forbes has done several mag uh, articles on it. Um, it's, it's, you know, reproducible. Yeah. So, um, so I, I think, I think that's so important that you say mm. that because hormones definitely, hormonal decline mm. is linked to neurotransmitter functioning. Mm. And so 
in neurotransmitters, where we have the get up and go, like right. dopamine, mm -hmm. the norepinephrine, the ability to focus. Then we also have the chilling out neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. like serotonin and GABA. Mm -hmm. And the hormones affect that. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's just a sort of an inter, inter, mm -hmm. inter um, uh, uh, you know, association. Mm -hmm. And that is so important to have that in balance. Mm -hmm. And that's the number, once hormones start declining, cholesterol mm -hmm. is a starting point of all the hormones, cholesterol will go up. So mm -hmm. many other things start happening. And you have two anabolic mm -hmm. hormones, um, which is your, or two or three, which mm -hmm. is your, first of all, is your testosterone, right. your thyroid, and the growth hormone. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't do growth hormone replacement, you know, uh, 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 we don't give growth hormone in this country. Um, it's a control substance, by the way. So is testosterone. And so is, um, and then the thyroid, we sometimes pick up thyroid dysfunctions. Mm -hmm. The point I'm trying to make is there's natural ways mm -hmm. to increase your hormones. Yeah. So if you have an indicator again mm -hmm. of something perhaps, you know, metabolically wrong, mm -hmm. then y you can again make a lifestyle mm -hmm. change and a diet change to help. Because we talk all the time about certain nutrigenomic or certain mm -hmm. nutrients that can help um, restore our hormone balance. Yeah. And that, that's why, you know, the education part of this is so important is because, you know, when we talk about hormones, most people are, it, it's a scary topic for most people. And most people automatically assume that these things are too complicated and they can't Or they're going to cause it. cancer if they go on hormones or and, if they look at it. You know, so I look at it because if we go on hormones, yeah. they're going to cause cancer. And, it, you know, and that's why and I that's encourage what? people to go through this process, work with someone like yourself because they can understand the basics of how this is working in their system and, and as you understand your own body you will start making better decisions and you'll just start you know because everybody goes around they're wondering I don't know why I just don't do it I don't yeah. know why I just don't do it yeah. and a lot of times it's it's just as simple as a little bit of hormone imbalance just to get that little bit of drive that feeling to make them want to go to the gym that you know cleaning up the diet a little bit understanding that going to Carl's Jr. and eating that burger is the thing that's creating that brain fog and making them not want to do anything yeah. um, and most people are completely disconnected with this yeah and we've actually have you seen people who have like actually taken like a hamburger or something and then looked in the blood and you can see the, uh, the fats the, the oh it's huge <laughs> I, I want you it's to tell huge. that story can you tell that story you know what's funny <laughs> is, is when you sit down and I ask people you know, uh, you know, what's your diet like? You know, and yeah. they're, they're, oh, my diet's pretty good. That's what most people say. Yeah. And then we get down and um, start getting yeah. slides together, and I go, so what'd you eat today? Oh, today's not a good day. Yeah. One of the most common things I hear, like half the time you hear yeah. that, you today know, today is never a good day. day. It's, a, it, it's not a good example. And the fact is, usually today is a perfect example. So, you know. listen, how do people look you up, and what's a website, uh, and how can they, um, you know, find out more about live blood. I know I know I do it, but what, yeah. what, what, what about you? How do they do uh, yeah, They can find me at tycannon.com. Yeah. Uh, you Go know, to tycannon.com, you guys, because he's really an expert on live blood cell technology. That's mm -hmm. why I brought him on the show. I'm so glad um, you were able to come. It's we're, The show's over already. And, oh, that went uh, quick. <laughs> so, um, but I think it's such a new concept, uh -huh. and you do it so well. well You've done you. it for so many years, and um, that you're an expert on this. Mm -hmm. And people just didn't know about it. So mm -hmm. to clear some of the myths today and to um, understand that there is something alongside coaching, mm -hmm. lifestyle management, and, um, and, and health educating that we can use as a tool, I think is fabulous. Um, so thank you for being on my show and I look forward to having you on again. This has been Nina MD, right here in Beverly Hills, Fusion of Science and Beauty. And we'll be back next week with another great show.